How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another Dragon Fable video and I know today is supposed to be a let's play a Dragon Fable episode but for this week we have a lot to go through so I'm going to go ahead and push this week's episode on to the next week. So no let's play Dragon Fable episode for this week but instead we have a bunch of other things to cover as well which I'm sure you guys will be very very excited to see. So first things first we obviously have the uh, new in challenge right? Tenets of the Devoted the Balance remake. So I just finished uploading a video at around 3 a.m. last night it was close to 4 a.m. by the time it was done so yeah guys the things I will do for you man I've been trying the stupid fight for like what two days straight ever since the challenge come out uh, using suboptimal gear as well as a 300 point dragon but unfortunately it just wasn't cutting it uh, to be fair, it is entirely possible to do it uh, with suboptimal gear as well as a 300 point dragon. I got Nota down to 4k in one of the runs, but oh, like my over 100 runs, that I only managed to do it once, okay? And that was when the stars aligned and the RNG just lined up perfectly for me. Unfortunately, uh, because it was quite early on, I was still a bit inexperienced with the fight, and yeah, I screwed up at the end, but uh, it was it could have very easily been a win but uh you know it is what it is and i didn't manage to pull out the w for that one however this uh makes it highly inconsistent because of the rng i mean in the first place the fight is highly rng to begin with because of yuenta and her eight element cycle but that being said though i have already uploaded a video on how to beat the fight but with using best in slot gear as well as a 400 point dragon that does greatly mitigate the rng in fact uh that was only my third try from using the gear the class is free to play though it's technomancer so you guys can go ahead and check out that video doesn't use food but i did use five hp pots also just saying if you're using best in slot gear 600 point dragon and all that uh, best in slot stuff then it is possible to do it uh, completely crutchless which means without food without any extra pots and all that but of course again it is highly dependent on rng okay so with that out of the way we have a whole bunch of dc stuff to check out this week so first things first uh Jacelix has actually made a bunch of gear for the new dc packages okay so i'll go ahead and bring up the design notes here so that you guys can go ahead and look at it okay i actually did buy one of them and i'll showcase it later all right so first things first we have the growth tender uh update this is not an update to the old growth tender art okay it is an entirely new package so if you are an owner of the old growth tender like me you are not getting this new art for free yeah i know you heard me right you are not getting this new art for free it's an entirely different package so there is now the old growth tender package as well as this new growth tender package everything is exactly the same the stats the abilities the specials all that kind of stuff everything the same okay the only difference is that it's a different artwork and i have to say uh this artwork looks a lot lesser than the old artwork the old uh with <coughs> the sword uh for both looks pretty good but the helm and the cape for this looks so much better than the old one the old one was like a bunch of twigs and that just looked really ugly to me um i don't know why new uh why the old growth tender owners couldn't just have gotten the new art as well for free like this seems like a really money grab move in my opinion and yeah i'm not a big fan of it i hope that maybe they'll reverse their decision and decide to give the old growth tender owners the new art as well because it sucks that you have to buy another package in order to just get this new updated art which is supposedly for items that are already existing in game so i don't understand why they can't just give it free to the old uh growth tender owners but you know it is what it is i already cheated to verly he hasn't replied to me but you know i hope that they would you know reverse this decision and maybe decide to give all growth tender owners the new artwork as well free of charge all right the next package here the arms of astravia uh gear really really cool looking gear okay i did buy this package because the dragon coin offer is about to end in like a day's time and you know i just couldn't help myself better get a package while the offer is still here so if you guys are looking forward to get uh, looking to get a dc package and now is the time to do it you have probably like one day left before the offer expires so you can get up to extra 50 percent dragon coins on all dc packages that you purchase so i actually purchased this i'll showcase this in more detail in the game now you'll get the helm as well as the wings on top of that you also get one weapon token and you can see here there's three different variants of the weapon okay there's a sword 
there is a staff and there are daggers as well. Unfortunately, you only get one weapon token, which means you can only pick one out of the three weapons. You don't get all three. That being said though, you can switch out the weapon token anytime from the black market Moglin inside of Falcon Witch in order to get other variants. Say for example, you got the sword but you don't like it, just switch out at the black market Moglin and turn it in for a spear or for, for the staff. I mean, or maybe you're done playing a mage, you don't want the staff anymore. Then just switch it in for the daggers, you know. It's interchangeable but again, I don't like the fact that you actually have to buy three of the same packages in order to get all three variants uh, simultaneously. So yeah, once again, I think this is a bit of a money grab and I'm not a big fan of it. Like, I can understand if games are like uh, money grab to begin with, you know, cough, adventure quest, cough, uh, golden gift boxes. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, for a game that is more free to play friendly like Dragon Faber, it, it, it has always been that way from the beginning. Like, Dragon Faber never did try really hard to go ahead and monetize. This move came as like a shock to me. Like, I didn't expect them to be doing this. I hope that this isn't the way forward. I do understand that the developers still need to eat and earn their keep, but uh, yeah, I don't like the change in direction where the game is going maybe it's just me being negative but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below right so let's go ahead and check out the arms of the extravia stuff first okay so when you buy the package you uh get the level 10 version okay extravian wings and then you have the let's see extravian helm over here as well as the weapon extravian weapon token Okay, choose carefully. I don't know why it says that because you can just switch it out anytime, right? So let's head over to the black market Moglin over here. Who's that? Okay, so items, I guess. No? Weapons? Where in the world is this? Uh, I don't know. I might be blind. Oh, oh there it is. Astravian gear. Okay, so we have Astravian helm over here. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hmm... Oh, need to upgrade it slowly one by one. Okay, so let's do that. Level 30, and then next up we have the level 50 version. Next should be 70, right? Yep, level 70, and last but not least, level 90. Okay, Ashavian. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, there's a level 80 version. Okay, level 90. Alright, so level 90 stats. BPD 10, bonus 10, crit 10, charisma 10, luck 10, main stat 10. Fire 10, Light 10, Darkness 10, Immobility 5. Alright, so stats are not best in stock for anything, but I do really like the look of this. I think it looks extremely, extremely cool, and I really like the artwork of this. Alright, next up we have the wings. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the wings. Okay, so level 30 version. Then we move on to level 50. Level 70. Level 80, and last but not least, level 90. Okay, BPD 8, crit 8, charisma 8, luck 8, main stat 10, water 6, fire 6, health minus 3. Okay, they look a little bit small in my opinion. I would prefer them to be a bit bigger. I think they'll look nicer, but you know, art is subjective. Alright, so I still think they look amazing though. Right, and uh, not best in slot once again. And last but not least, we are going to go ahead and get the weapon. So, wing blade, wing staff, wing knife. Okay. Yeah, so you can switch them out at any time. So, right here, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh yeah, you need to level out the weapons one by one as well. So, let's see what are the differences they have. We'll just check out the level 90 version to see which one you want to get. BPD 15, bonus 12, crit 10, charisma 10, luck 10. Main stat 16. Okay, fire 9, light 9, health... Minus 5, mana minus 5. Mana minus 5. Ooh, very interesting. New best installed weapon for mana healing, I guess. Yeah. Okay, 83 to 107. Okay, so everything is the same. The stats are all the same, which is nice. Okay, and you do get all three main stats similar to Scythes. So that's very good. Uh, the only difference is, of course, the form in which the weapon comes in. Let's check out the artwork. Wing Staff. The Staff looks very nice. Almost similar to like a Scythe or X of sorts. Blade. Blade also looks pretty good. Ooh, is that animating? Yeah, I think the circle is moving. That's really cool. Uh, oh, this one, I think the ruby at the top is spinning a little bit as well, right? Yeah, very nice. And the knife, 
Oh, the daggers. Okay, what's animating for this one? Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Is there anything that's animated for the daggers? I'm not seeing it. Are the daggers animated? Maybe the daggers are the only one that's not animated. I don't know. I really like the staff as well as the blade. The daggers, I wish there was some sort of animation. Yeah, see this one at the top is animated as well. Really cool. I think the blade is probably the most animated one. Yeah, the blade has like two parts where it's animated. Uh, dagger, none at all. And then the... I'm trying to look really carefully. I don't know if I'm missing this or I'm just blind, but it doesn't seem to be animated. As for the staff, it's just a spinning ruby at the top. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get the blade. So that's what we'll do. We'll get this. Wing blade. Let's go ahead and get the level 30 version. Wing blade. 50. 70. 80. And last but not least, 90. Alright, so best in slot for mana healing, I think. But apart from that, yeah, not really great. 83 to 107 fire. Wait, is this the new best in slot fire weapon? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is simply because it doesn't have any all resist. Right, the damage wise, damage is pretty good though. 83 to 107. Wow. Wait, hold up. Let me see here. 83 to 107. What's my. Yeah, wow, the damage range is really big. Almost. Comparable to Apotheosis, a bit lower damage, so yeah, it loses out to Apotheosis, but really, really good. 83 to 107. Right, alright, next up, uh, let's check out the new weapons, the new items you get from beating the in challenge. Now, you know, there are two new items one is the Maker Touch uh, Zui Hander, that is basically Nota's weapon, and the other one is Nota's Spell Tree, which is Nota's back item. Alright, so in order to get both of these, you need to fight both the solos as well as the duo twice. So you need to fight the solo two times, and you need to fight the duo two times as well. Alright, if you have uh, V2, just go ahead and use V2 instead. Doom Knight V2 that is. It is a hell of a lot easier compared to using any other class, obviously, because V2 is V2, right? Uh, let's see here. Nota Spell 3, this one. We'll check out the stats. BPD 7, Crit 9, Magic uh, MPM 9 Charisma 8 Luck 8 Main set 16 Bonus 9 All plus 5 Health minus 5 Not best in slot for anything Fashion looks really good Because of the animation I really like the uh, Artwork on this Maker Touch Sway Handle 3 Let's check it out 94 to 94 Good Oh Click the blade to change its appearance Hold up Wait what Okay What so can you change it to evil or something 94 to 94 good so this is a very stable weapon uh not as good as apotheosis obviously because apotheosis has a larger damage range and this is like the base damage range of apotheosis so bpd3 crit 20 oh crit 20 wow is this the new best in slot offensive light weapon offensive good weapon no i don't think so because apotheosis has more means that yeah okay MPM 3, Wisdom 5, Endurance 5, Main Stat 15, Bonus 20. Hmm, I don't know, you get a lot of bonus and crit for this, but you do lose out in terms of Main Stat. Now, of course, this one's health is this not as good. All plus 5 health, minus 15. Okay, so you get a grand total of minus 10 health. Okay, same as this, actually. So what happens if I... This is what you can click on it to change its elemental appearance. Oh! Oh, nice. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me showcase this in more detail. Holy crap. You get all eight. Freaking. Wait, why am I doing it here? Yeah, you get all eight freaking elemental variants. Wow. Wow, guys. That is just so cool. Okay, and I'm going to turn off the music here because once again, uh, this stupid company keeps copyright striking me for this green screen music. I don't know why. Uh, I still get a revenue, but I do have to submit a dispute, and it only gets settled like a lot, a, a lot while later. So, yeah, I don't really want to deal with that. Okay, so we have earth, wind, nature, darkness, light, fire, ice, water, energy. Yep, very, very cool. Wow, I love this weapon. It doesn't change the element of the weapon. It's still good element. You just change its. Uh, appearance okay right now let's go ahead and check out the uh, let's equip the Australian stuff wait you know what 
hold up. There's more things I need to cover before that. Alright, so next thing that we want to cover, here we have the uh, Moglin Berry Masher Special Shop. This one returns every year. Moglin Berry Masher, not best in slot for anything. If you like the art, you can get this. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and pass it out. I'm going to pass it up. I don't think it's really that fantastic. And next up, we have the Pirate's Bane DC Special. Okay, Pirate's Bane, this one, it is a scythe that allows you to click on it the more gold you have. So... If I am not wrong, you need like 5 million gold, something around, or between 4 to 7 million, around there, in order to reach the maximum amount of uh, clicks you can go on this uh, weapon. So right now, I have less than a million gold. Uh, obviously, because I spent a huge power of it doing the stupid challenge, but yeah, you need a ton of gold in order to get this weapon to its final form. Okay, so let's check out the stats here. Crit 10, MPM 8. And do you understand? Luck 10 means that 16 bonus shell. It's not a bad weapon. 80 to 110 metal. Is this the new best in slot metal weapon? I don't really know. 80 to 110. Hmm. What's the best in slot metal weapon? I think it's the Psionic Ratchet, right? I, I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Hold on. Let me see. 80 to 110. Let's compare it here. Uh, 88 to 104. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's the best in slot for anything. <coughs> the all resist also only 9. So you don't get 10 all resist, which is one less than the max amount that you usually get, which is kind of weird. But I guess maybe they don't want to make this stronger than, you know, the in weapon. So that's understandable. Uh, I think the artwork for this is amazing. I'm going to showcase the artwork here because I don't have enough gold to click through everything. So I think this is what the final form looks like. Okay. Yeah, and you need like five, between four to seven million gold in order to get the final form. I think the, the number should be five million, but don't quote me on that once again. So let's equip this and let's see how many... Deems a hot of gold insufficient. Yeah, if you have less than a million gold, you won't even get to click on it twice. The first click, I think you can only do it when you have a million gold. So if you want to see this weapon in all, in all its glory, get to gold farming. I will probably go ahead and do some gold farming uh, off camera. And maybe I'll showcase the final form of this weapon in a future video. Alright, but right now I'm just too tired from the challenges to be farming any gold. Okay, next up. We have the Sunken Plunderer 9. Okay, this one you can get. Uh, this one was available last year already. Artwork for this, man, not that great. But the special about this, the special thing about this weapon is that once per battle, this weapon has a chance on hit to increase am the amount of gold you plunder. So really good for gold farming, I guess. It's a small little bonus. And uh, you can actually just get the... Oh. Wait, no, the level 1 version also causes 500 DC, so yeah, no no reason to get the lower level version. Get the highest level version, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and buy this. Once again, not best in slot for anything. So, you know, I basically got it just for its special. And because the max level version and the lowest level version causes the same amount, there's no reason to buy the lower level version. Alright, last but not least, Royal Astravian Catalyst. Okay, so this one is a Paladin customization item, okay? Yeah, lost the uh, Australian customization option for Paladin. So we are going to buy this, and we are going to check it out. First world problems, right? Look at how much <laughs> dragon coins I have. I do think I should buy more inventory slots to make my life a lot easier because right now I am really struggling, especially with all of the uh, N NDC items that I the NDA items that I have to keep in my inventory. Okay, so we'll dump a few items to the bank first. Now, let's go ahead and let's go to our house and equip on the Paladin armor so you guys can go ahead and check out the new Royal Astravian Catalyst. Alright, I'll, I'll equip it together with the uh, new Astravian DC set so you guys can see the full set in all its glory. Alright, so Paladin, let's equip. And we want to go to our armor customization room in order to change it. Okay, so I have it. Uh, the Royal Astravian Catalyst. Yeah, I can chuck this in a bank. Why didn't I do that? Astravian, original, risen, on it. Oh yeah, we had some different designs already. But I think I really like the Astravian design. Astravian doesn't really go well with anything else on this because of the color scheme. So yeah, you want it in its full set. 
Oh my god, that looks amazing, guys. Uh, unfortunately, the blade doesn't change, so that's a little weird. But I guess it's to make sure you buy the Ashavian DC package, right? Since the blade comes with that. Okay, again, I feel that that's a little bit of a money grab, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. Oh, whoops. Let's go to the green screen so I can showcase this a lot better. Come on. Green screen. And walk right up here. Okay, so let's equip the Ashavian Wing Blade, Ashavian Helm, as well as the Ashavian Wings. Wait, what? I chuck the wings into the bank instead of Nota Spell. Guys, I am an idiot. What in the world am I doing? Ah. Ashavian Wings, there you are. Okay, let me chuck the right one into the bank this time. Uh, where in the world are you? Come on, show yourself. Nota spell. Where's the back item? Am I will chuck this in the bank first. Where's the other back item? There you are. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and see. The wings. Come on. I wish the green, there was a more convenient area to access the green screen. Of course, I could have bought the house item, but I think it wasn't a worthwhile purchase to make. That's why I didn't buy it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the Ashrivian wings. And there we are. Wow. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, the wings flap when you run. Wow, very, very nice. Holy crap. Very nice indeed. Oh, by the way, uh, the weapons also have a special effect, which I think I forgot to cover. Okay, so it... Let me see what it does again. I forgot. Darn it. Okay. Uh, it will weakness seek against enemies that resist that resist fire. So it's not solely a fire weapon. So any enemies that have greater than zero fire resistance, this thing will uh, element seek. That is really, really good. But it doesn't include all resist. And equipping the wings and health will also increase your bonus and crit. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Am I... Do I get a bonus of some sort? Like a like, like do I get a full set bonus from this? Let's go ahead and test this out. Yeah, do I get a full set bonus? No? Yeah, uh, there's no there's no full set bonus. I thought there would be. Yeah, all in all, I think the artwork looks absolutely fantastic. I think Jason Leaks has done an amazing job on this. Alright, so if you have the spare cash lying around, I highly recommend picking up this set. Uh, if you haven't bought the original Growth Tender set and are thinking to get Growth Tender, Growth Tender is a fantastic weapon. And uh, personally, I feel that the new artwork is a lot better than the old one. So if you don't already have the old one, then I will consider picking up the new uh, updated Growth Tender set. Over over the Astravian one, by the way, if you're thinking of a DC package to choose, I think Growth Tender has a lot more practical users. But of course, if you're an art or fashion person, uh, then I do think the art on this looks a lot better. Right, so that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming. Peace out.